What's going on, everybody? I'm Animus J, and welcome back to Unity SMP. Today, we are going to... Uh, we're going to start on a new adventure. Uh, Alpha has done so much in this area. Uh, I kind of want to let him do his thing, because, I mean, let's be honest, guys. He's doing amazing. He's doing awesome. We did most of that stuff. We did our little dragon up there. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to leave the uh we're gonna leave the mountain um technically it's bedtime it's bedtime and i didn't bring a bed hold on so as i was saying um we were we're kind of gonna move or leave the mountain uh but not technically now uh this if you're following along with alpha you'll probably know that he kind of disassembled this um which is which is fine uh, like I said, I, I built this kind of not knowing what his plans were and he's got big plans I guess for the landscaping here. So we're just gonna we're gonna let him do his thing um, This guy is our, our it, it, It's it's Frankie from over there. Um, he kind of escaped a little bit. Yeah um, Darn you Frankie uh, so I had to trap him in over here uh, and also um, Alpha I assume it was alpha caught this guy. Look at this guy um, Bam Mending for 26 emeralds. We just got uh, I need, uh, We'll build for emeralds guys we will build things for emeralds. Okay, so Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we're not near you know, I did however land a pretty good pickaxe on breaking three fortune three efficiency four uh, Kind of lucked out on that one. Uh, but so anyways, what I want to do is we're gonna come around to the back side of this mountain and I, I haven't actually picked a spot. I was looking at one spot. There's one spot that was uh, that I kind of liked, and then another spot that um, uh, was kind of okay. Was kind of thinking maybe, but what I want to do. Okay, so yeah, the mountain it kind of goes more kind of more mountainy than I want it to be. Uh, what I want, what I'm looking for, is more of a cliff because we're gonna please thank you. We're gonna build a house into into the cliff not not just a house houses and what i'm modeling this after is here in arizona where i oh there it is there it is that is that is the spot hello spider okay that is right there the perfect spot okay so it's gonna wrap from there all the way around to there maybe even over to here some um i don't know we'll have to we'll have to see how it's looking but I see you down there, Mr. Skellington. Uh, but what it is, is we're going to extend all these uh, mountaintops out and make it a cliff. And so, here, let me do this for you guys, all right? So, it's going to come up, and here's our, this is our mountain, okay? And then this is the cliff, and, and it kind of has an overhang like this. And then underneath it, we're going to build a bunch of houses, okay? So, each of these blocks is is, you know a house like that and uh so anyways there's a place in arizona where there are like pueblo type houses uh that were made exactly like that inside of a mountain and i'll have to look up the name of it so that you guys can google it and see what the heck i'm talking about um but that's what i want to do i was looking at things and i came across a picture of that and i thought wow that's it's so beautiful it's so amazing i would love to build that in our mountain community Ooh, what did we get Flame one. Flame one. Okay. So, um, but step number one is to get rid of some of this stuff, like the trees uh, that are in the way. And then we're going to have to take down, we're going to take down this stuff. I had silk touch, by the way, on this shovel. And through the magic of video editing, there we go. Uh, we have a lot of it dug out. Not all of it. Haven't gone around into there yet. Um, not entirely sure I want to. I do want to, to be honest, and I went ahead and started doing some of the cliff stuff. As you can see, it's not done, but I think it's looking pretty good. I went and took some some inspiration from Good Times with Scar. He's an amazing, amazing, amazing landscaping, terraforming dude, mine crafter extraordinaire. So, um, so next, now what we're going to do is we are going to take let me release snowballs okay so now our builds are going to be if i didn't say already uh primarily andesite and then we're going to mix in some uh some gravel and you know a little bit of coral as well 
And now I tried to leave this different levels so you can see up here, it's a little bit higher. So I thought it would be a little more realistic if there was parts of the rock that our, our people just kind of couldn't cave out, if you know what I mean. And so, you know, it kind of comes lower over here and then we come back up again over here and then we can always cut in deeper if we want to. And I've just realized uh, that I don't have, uh, oh, we do have some torches, so um, that's good. But uh, in any case, yeah, we can always cut in deeper if we want to. And then, eh, nope, let me try that again. Eh, there we go. Uh, you know, and make it deeper. But the whole thing is that this is kind of uh, somewhat primitive, I guess you could say, dwellings. So they're not going to be very big. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of bare, bare necessities, you know, like a room to sleep in and then a stove inside of that same room kind of a thing. Maybe an upstairs for uh, like the kids or parents or something like that. I don't know. But so anyways, um, if we do this, if we get started here now, um, and this is why I went with cobblestone for the cliffs is because we want the andesite to stand out from the from the mountain which you know against the normal stone of course it it blends in really well and and we don't want that uh so so there's going to be a lot of contrast so the andesite will stand out but at the same time it's still stone and it still looks you know very natural uh and and that way it's like okay well you know they dug out this mountain but at the same time they they kind of used the mountain itself in order to make their homes so this one let's see because of how tall it is yeah that's kind of what i'm going for and then you know we'll we'll try to make it look Oh, because we can do like stairs and things like that with these blocks. So we'll do like, you know, stairs or half slab or something right there and make it look like it's kind of worn down, broken down and put gravel here and there. Now, I don't want to necessarily mix cobblestone into the houses. That was my text message. Um, uh, because we don't want it to blend in with the cliffs, you know. Uh, but if we do this kind of a thing then that helps to give it more texture and make it look a little bit older. So so we'll keep going like this, making up these houses. And then what we'll do is we'll add dimension. So like we'll come out maybe to here and then the next house. So like this will come back, right? And then the next house can come out to maybe here. Uh, do we need a gap? Yeah, we we need some we need some kind of a separator, right? Because we don't want it to just look like, oh look, it's you know the same house is continued. So maybe if we do it here instead, and then okay, yeah, and then what we can do is do um maybe like a fence post. This will represent our fence post like that. Uh, showing like a dividing, um, almost like an alleyway, I suppose, or a gate possibly there. I don't know. But, you know, something different, completely different, wood or something like that. And then this one will come along and we can do the door right there and have stairs maybe leading up to it. And then window here and here. And I got quite a bit done. Uh, I wanted to bring you in because we're doing... Uh, I'm doing some of the details, and um, I thought I ran out of andesite. I went back to get more chicken, <laughs> and I found andesite, and then I forgot the chicken, and then I had to go back and get more chicken. So you can see our dinosaur fossil is right there, which is perfect freaking location because it means uh, that our waterfall, our waterfall is probably like through here, maybe somewhere around there, which is great because that's going to connect us up to um, our hidden room that's going to be behind the waterfall and so yeah i started putting andesite walls uh, in a couple places which you can see i lined the roofs i'm trying to give this dimension now these are going to be i mean they're boxes but you know we want them to be textured 
and we want them to have dimension to them as well. So like this right here, it's just a straight up cube and it's, you know, pretty boring, which it should be um, basic, okay? But it shouldn't be boring. So if we look over, uh, okay, well like this one right here in the corner, okay? We have a couple textures, which, you know, let me give it, uh, let me give it a little bit more texture here. Um, and then maybe I can do something like that. And then um, a little bit more texture right here. Now, I I think I'm going to remove these because I think this is just a little bit too extreme of a texture. That one looks okay. Uh, but anyway, so like if we look at this, you know, we've got dimension. We have holes. We have different textures. We have stuff sticking out, right? We have broken blocks. Okay, it's but it's still just squares, right? And, uh, you know, maybe even if I get rid of that right there, and if we traded that out for, okay, you cannot make smooth stone walls. And that honestly bothers me. <laughs> I don't know if it bothers you, uh, but it bothers me. So let's do just a couple of those. And then let's do this um, because they are half slabs and we want the texture. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Um, so I'm trying to mix things in. Now, instead of uh, these gates, like like I had started to do or questioned doing, I was thinking maybe of doing walls like that, uh, maybe. Or we could also put it right here. Uh, and then another thing we could do is the andesite walls because they look very, well, there's a window there, so that doesn't look as good. Uh, but if we do if we do that, see how it kind of separates our buildings, but then it still gives us a different dimension and uh, you know kind of a continuity, I, I guess you could say between the buildings. So if we tried it over here, what does it look like if we try it over here? Um, so I kind of like that, but. Maybe if we do it further back, possibly. Go right there. And welcome back. Uh, I'm trapped in a box. I trapped myself in the box. Um, uh, that's because I was letting I was letting time go by. I was trying to let the clock tick, basically. Uh, because ta-da! Look at this. Let me make it daytime though. Oh, hello, Zombert. It's stuck. At these guys. The bamboo really messes with these guys, doesn't it? Uh, oh, a carrot. I don't need it. All right, let me sleep here. And then you'll be able to see the uh, terraforming, the landscaping, the houses, the stuff. I did lots of stuff, guys. And hopefully, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you're proud of me. We're not done. Oh, hi there. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't, don't. Yes, okay. Whew, close one. Look at that view. Ah! Okay. Uh, any more creepers? All right. Um, so, okay, here we go. Ta-da! Look at that, guys. Doesn't it look good? Hold on, let me do this. There we go. Look at that. We got a pig's butt to look at, too, but, you know, that's the thing. We got the, um, the, um, the dragon. Uh, <laughs> what is it called? Fossils. Thank you. The dragon fossils. Um, sticking up there over the top. And what the freaking crap are you kidding me? Who was that? Who the crap? Who's got an attitude? Aha. I see you down there, you freaking jerk face. Okay. Um, let's try this again. All right. So we got the um, the dragon fossils. Okay. We got a cool view of uh, Dark's uh, floating island thing as well. Uh, although I think we need to talk about his cylinder shape. We're going we're gonna to have to talk to him about that anyways. Um, we still got some of the grass blocks, like that one right there, that one right there. They still need to turn into dirt. Uh, I, you can see I mixed in a lot of coarse dirt here and there just to, to give us more textures. And then I took out some of the textures and extremeness, I guess you could say, of our houses. Uh, what's going on right there, though? It looks a little bit odd. It looks like I'm missing something right there. But... Um, I, it, it was looking a little bit too too much, I guess you could say. 
And uh, as far as these bamboo that I've planted, it's just to add a little bit more color. I, I don't have any spider string on me. I need, you know what? I need to find out where Dark got all the spider string to make the scaffolding that goes all the way up to his island. Because uh, that, that had to be a lot of string. Um, so, yeah, anyways, uh, the terraforming, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. And then the houses, I, I like the way they look, guys. The textures and everything like that, I, I think it looks really good. It's very subtle, but at the same time, it stands out, right? So it looks like it belongs in the mountain. It looks like they carved it out of the mountain. And then, uh, but then at the same time, you know, you can tell it's not part of the mountain. And I think what helps that is all the cobblestone cliffs. And then we still got to clean up some of this stuff, like the, you know, this area right here. Um, we got to, um, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to add some leaves uh, to it, uh, some leaf blocks. So we have that and then some vines as well hanging down, just like we did on the other side uh, with the waterfall. And and I want to give the waterfall this kind of treatment as well. This is kind of what I was going for with the waterfall, but I, I didn't quite, I didn't do a good enough job. So we're, we're going to touch that up. I'll probably do that off video and then just show you guys, but um yeah, what I should have done is I should have looked up uh, some of good times with scarce stuff when I was doing that. Um, but so if I walk you through this just a little bit, it's still pretty empty. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, we could put some beds and stoves and things like that. And uh, I decided with the walls, I think the walls look the best. We need to add some stairs still in a couple places. Uh, the ladders going up as well. Um, so, yeah, and you can kind of go from house to house a little bit on some of them. But I'm guys, overall, I'm super pleased so far. So I'm gonna grab uh, some some shears, is what they're called. I'm gonna grab some shears, and I'm gonna get a whole bunch of leaves. Okay, so I don't really want the spruce leaves. I don't. I'm not a big fan of spruce leaves. Okay, so we're not gonna do spruce. Probably what I'm gonna do is uh, the dark oak or the oak leaves. Um, which I don't I don't know if we have any dark oak planted right now. We've been planting it around our around our village and harvesting it that way. Uh, but I don't I don't know if we actually have any right now. Oh, and this is pretty cool, guys. <laughs> this is how I've been going back and forth. If I come over here, um, where's the spot? Is it right here? Yeah. See, look, <laughs> I can just drop down these vines like this. And then when I go back up, there's one spot that goes all the way to the top. I think it's right here. Yeah, it goes all the way to the top. So <laughs> instead of going all the way around the mountain. Um, but anyways, I'm going to make some shears. I'm going to get, oh, yeah, see, dark oak, not a single one. That's spruce. Yeah, we're we're out. I, got, I, I have more saplings for it. It's just um, we don't have any planted right now. So let me find some shears. And I'm going to shear up a whole bunch of leaves and then we'll decorate it and then we'll call it a day because we're a day late. We're a day late. And I think uh, if you follow me on Twitter and if you're in our Discord, which I really hope that you are, uh, I made the announcement that we're, we're probably going to change our Unity upload day to Fridays because it just seems to be easier for me to get these out on Friday than on Thursday. And, and I think a lot of that has to do with the weekend. So... Um, yeah, just, and, and then the other thing too, guys, is, uh, I had really bad migraines yesterday. It was, it was so horrible. I was in, I was just in complete misery. Okay. We don't have any shears, so I'm just going to have to make some up and four, two of them. Yeah. Two shears, four pieces of iron for two shears. Um, that should, that should do it. Do I not have, why do I, where did the other one go? Did I not make two? I didn't make two. What happened? There we go. Now we got to. Okay. Uh, let me do that. I'm going to drop off all this crap as well. And then I'll bring you by guys back in. I will call this good and we'll get it uploaded. We seem to have an interesting thing going on here with the animals. I don't, I don't know. Uh, the pig's been there. Uh, he's been there a good 30 minutes at least. And maybe even longer than that. The duck's only been there for about uh, five to 10 minutes. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Something going on with the bamboo. Anyways, uh, what do you guys think? What do you think? We got, we got leaves. We got vines. You can't see the vines, obviously. We're going to have to wait for the vines to grow in. Um, I wish we could, like, bone meal vines or something. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, we got to try it. I mean, we got to at least try it, okay? Uh, I got so much crap. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> 
Making sure. Sometimes I say things like that, and then people in the comments are like, "You stupid idiot! You can do that." Oh, I, I didn't. Sorry, I'm, I'm a stupid idiot. I didn't know. I didn't know. Anyways, okay. Um, we gotta get the bamboo under control. This one especially. Holy crap! That one's run like crazy. Um, but look at it, guys. Let me look at it. Um, I love it. I love it. We'll get some lanterns in there. Um, I did do a little bit of lighting in the bushes uh, on the ground and then a little bit up on top as well. And I did try to, uh, I, I tried to do some bushes up there um, as well. We might have to clean that up a little bit better because it does look a little bit, uh, a little bit crappy up there. Uh, but I, you know, I tried to add to it. It's just that wall, that, that big spot right there just doesn't look that great. This, this looks good. I, I, I like it for the most part. Um, but yeah, so and then, and then we'll probably have to maybe clean this up a bit too. I don't know. I'll have to think about how I want it to look because you know we want the approach to it to be amazing, right? Like this thing's kind of got to get lowered. I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe because this is flat, probably. Oh, I hate to say this, guys. We might just clear this whole thing out. This this whole thing I'm standing on right now because then from way back there you can just approach and see the beauty. Of our mountain houses we need a name for this place too i don't know what we're gonna call it but that's gonna be it i gotta i gotta get all this crap um out of here uh so that so i can take a screenshot for the thumbnail uh but that's it for today guys my inventory is full and i'm animus j um seriously guys if you if you like the video if you like what we're doing here um please give me a like it, it lets me know it lets me know what I'm doing that you guys like, what I'm doing that you don't like. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think of this. If you like it or not. If you have any recommendations, getting getting rid of ugly ugly trees probably one of them. Uh, and as always, join the Discord. Uh, we got a couple good guys, the good old boys, down in the Discord. Um, and as well, if you're in any of the tutorials and you're struggling, then we can help you out in the Discord. But um, that's it for today, guys. If you did like it then make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. But that's it. I'm Animus J, and I'll see you guys next time.